Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. So today we are going to analyze a data on cab rides in New York City to and from the airport. And we're primarily going to use the NumPy library of Python. So uh, let's just go through the data. So I have the data here. And um, in this data we have each row corresponding to a, a, a cab ride. And we have different columns like pickup year, pickup month, pickup day. The, the the trip distance, the trip length, fare amount, the toll amount and so on. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. So these are the questions that we'd like to get answered. Okay, uh, let's get started. Um, let's start with the basics. Let's um, import the NumPy library. Now I've already uploaded the file, the CSV file of the cabs data to the local host of Jupyter Notebook. And uh, now we're going to just download the file um, to the Jupyter Notebook. Yeah. So um, the way to go about that would be um, np.gen from txt and name of the file nyc underscore txis.csv that's the name of the file and because this is a csv file the delimiter would be uh, a comma and um, um, because we want to analyze this using numpy we cannot um, have any any strings or um, text so um, we're, we're going to skip the header also right and i'm going to assign this file to a new variable and uh, we'll name it taxi right so we have uh, the variable ready we have all the data we need in the taxi file now um, um, let's let's just get started and answer the first question which is we have to calculate the mean speed of all the cab rides so um, the way to go about that would be we can calculate uh, 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 an ND array, uh, maybe generate an ND array with all the speeds of the different cab rides and find its mean. Uh, from the data we can see that there is no specific column with the speed and uh, we'll have to generate it ourselves and then um, go on to calculate the mean. Um, right. So um, the way to go about that would be uh, speed is distance by time and uh, from the data uh, from the data we can see that um, the eighth column uh, here is the trip, trip distance and the ninth column is the trip length and I'm, I'm assuming that the trip length is in um, seconds 2037 doesn't look like um, a number which could represent ours and um, uh, so the way we can go about it would be uh, calculate the mean speed for each cab ride, calculate the speed for each cab ride and uh, then calculate the mean. So um, let's just do that. So um, I can see that trip distance is um, the eighth column. So um, trip distance is the eighth column, the seventh denomination and trip length is then the uh, ninth column. So um, uh, let's just find the speed in the array. We'll name it, we'll name it speed, speed equal to all the rows and uh, the eighth column divided by uh, the ninth column this should give us the speed but um, um, we have the distance in the right unit that is miles but uh, we need to change uh, the unit of um, the trip length which is in seconds so um, the way we can do that is divide the trip length um, by 3600 now we have the trip length in hours so our speed is going to be in um, miles per hours miles per hour and uh, that is that is the unit we need right now we need to find the mean um, fairly simple um, nothing nothing too complicated about it um, so the way we can go about that 
would be mean underscore speed this is the variable and uh, which is going to be the mean of um, the speed and array right let's see let's just print it out okay so the mean speed of all the rides um, to and from the airport is 32 miles per hour 32 miles per hour okay very well um, now on to the next question um, now we're required to calculate the number of rides taken in the month of february again going back to the data so um, i can see that the second column uh, is given by pickup month we've been told that the rides uh, for the month of february would be denoted by the number two here so um, right so what we have to do is basically extract the um, uh, the number of rides with the number two in the month column and uh, just give a count very well so we're going to use uh, some basics of a boolean algebra for this for extracting the required rows and um, the way to go about that would be um, so this uh, this this particular piece of code here gives us um, um, just separates out the um, the first column for us and um, the second column actually the second column for us and uh, um, uh, um, for the rides taken in the month of february this particular column should be equal to 2 right so we have this boolean um, generated and um, um, we're going to apply this boolean to all the rows and um, uh, apply it to any 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 column so um, because we're going with the month column um, let's just go with the month here also and um, um, we'll apply this to the boolean and the row um, uh, row number to the uh, to the main database um, that is the taxi taxi framework and uh, that's about it so this particular piece of code written in the fourth fourth code cell is going to again give us an nd array with um, um, with just one column that is the month column and uh, um, the rights taken in the february given by the number two and um, let's just see what we have here okay now because we want a count um, so we have to basically find the shape um, of this nd array um, more precisely the, the the first unit of the shape tuple of this nd array would give us the number of rights precisely uh, let's do that rights underscore feb um, and i'll want to print this out so print and underscore fm dot shape okay let's see yes we have a number so there have been total of 13,333 rides um, taken in the month of February uh, in New York City from or to the airport very well so the next question that we'd like to get answered uh, the number of rides where um, the the um, the passengers have tipped more than um, fifty dollars. Going back to the data, uh, tip, tip, tip. Okay, there we go. So I can see that um, tip amount, that is the third column from the last, um, is where I can find the answer to the question. And um, again, I think I should be using um, Boolean algebra to separate out the rows. Um, with tip amount greater than fifty dollars right so um, what we can do is again uh, separating out the column uh, all the rows um, the third column from the last that is minus three and this has to be greater than fifty right so i have uh, my boolean ready and i'm going to apply this boolean to all the rows and, um, and, and just for the sake of uh, ease we're going to apply this to uh, 
um, just one column, the concerned column, um, the, the, the third column from the last and the column with the tips. Um, we can we could have applied it to any column actually, uh, but but just because this is the column in concern, um, let's go ahead with this, and um, let's just apply this to this particular column and the segregated rows, right? And uh, we need the shape again of this ND array, the the first the first denomination of the shape actually. Uh, so that's the reason behind the zero here the first denomination of the shape tuple and uh, yeah let's see what we have okay so the number of generous tippers is 16 there have been 16 people who have tipped more than 15 dollars uh, in nyc cabs while traveling to or from the airport on to the next question which is um, the number of rides where the drop has been to the JFK airport, right? So we have this drop of location code, and we have been told that the location code, um, the drop of location code corresponding to the JFK airport is two, right? Uh, again, you know, uh, it makes all the sense to use boolean again and um, let's see what column is this Dro uh, drop of location code is the um, the sixth column actually um, actually it's the seventh column but the denomination would be six because the count starts from zero um, right so um, uh, let's create the boolean again taxi the main data frame comma this the sixth column and uh, for JFK airport, this has to be two, uh, comma, the concerned column, right. And this is going to be the NDRA. Now, because we're interested in numbers, we're again going to use the shape and uh, let's just print it out and see what we have. All right, so the number of drops to the JFK airport in NYC would, would be 11,832. Right, so with this, uh, we come to an end of the series of questions that we were required to answer. And uh, we've uh, answered actually all of them successfully. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, I hope you have a great day ahead. Thank you.